Welcome, family, friends, and teachers to the grade six, seven winter music sharing. My name is Hassan Gina from 7HK. And I'm Samantha Pond from 7SC, and we're your hosts for this afternoon. Hi, James. The views behind us capture the magnificence of the North Shore Mountains and offer an impactful backdrop for our performances. As we celebrate our music making today, we would like to reflect on the beautiful land upon which WPGA is situated, the traditional, ancestral, and unceded territory of the Coast Salish peoples, the Squamish First Nation, Tsleil-Waututh First Nation, and the Musqueam Indian Band. We acknowledge that we live, work, learn, and express ourselves on these lands and are committed to respecting the diverse cultures and artistic traditions of these nations. We look forward to forging paths that lead us to more musical and artistic learning with members of these communities as we welcome honored guests into our classrooms and share in our music making together. We're excited to share our current musical progress with our WPGA community. A few reminders before we get started. First, please ensure that your phone is off or on silent. The performance is already being video recorded, so we ask that you refrain from doing so on your own phones as it interferes with the enjoyment of those around you. We also ask that you avoid using the washroom in the middle of a performance. Please wait until after the group has played to keep from distracting the performers. Students, please hold on to your instruments after you play. Do not drop them, as they are expensive tools for artistic expression. Be sure to pack them up and either bring them with you at the end of the show, or be sure to put them back in their appropriate storage space. Finally, remember to support your peers through the performance through good audience etiquette. Hassan and grade sevens repeat after me for our daily affirmations. I'm a respectful listener. I'm a respectful listener. I love my classmates so much. I will clap after each performance. Hassan, don't cry out of joy here like you did at the dress rehearsal. Uh, excuse me. Uh, I didn't cry. There was lots of dust in the air, and it reached my eyes and irritated me in that specific area. Sure, no one else was irritated. It was, it was dust over there, and it was only where I was standing. Anyway, we have a lot of great music in store for you from WPGA's band and strings programs. Please welcome Reina and Declan to introduce the grade six band. Hi, I'm Reina and this is Declan. At the beginning of the year, the grade six band reviewed the sounds we appreciated most as well as memories from previous experiments experiences on wind instruments. With guidance from our teachers to find best fits, we ended up with the full concert band you see before you. Our first few months have been spent in smaller groups with more focused goals to get us going. The flutes have been with Miss Bates half the time and with Mr. Elmore and the reeds and percussion the other half. The brass have been with Mr. Jackson and the percussionists have had their guidance of Miss Richardson as they honed their mallet technique. Many of us selected the flute following a positive experience with the instrument during our, our grade five woodwind rotation, but there's still a lot to review when we started. Since September, we've come a long way from reviewing the notes B, A, and G to beyond. Connecting what we play with to the written notation is the next challenge as we become more comfortable with the many notes under our fingers. We'll be playing two short pieces for you as a section, Oats and Beans and Folk Song, both traditional songs with unknown composers. The flutes will join the other wood woodwinds to share more.
I'm Wyatt. And I'm Ray. Grade six woodwind students have been learning the fundamentals of their instrument, including correct assembly, reed placement and care, hand and playing position, and embouchure formation. We have worked hard to produce a constantly warm and controlled tone on our instrument and to sustain a sound by using air efficiency. Our note and rhythm reading has improved and we have applied our understanding of fingerings and playing concepts such as breath support and articulation towards preparing sections for performance. Percussionists have been learning correct stick hold playing position and basic playing technique on a wide range of percussion instruments. With the goal of becoming well-rounded percussionists, the section has focused on mallet instruments this term. All percussion instruments make sound by being struck, but mallet instruments such as the xylophone, vibraphone, and bells belong to the pitch percussion family, a group of instruments that produce notes. Our percussionists have been improving their note reading skills, connecting with written notation and the correct tone bars on the mallet instruments and playing accurate pitches in strict time with the rest of the ensemble. Woodwind and percussion players have learned how to work together efficient, effectively as a group, taking responsibility for our individual contribution and respecting the contribution of others. The group has prepared four selections for performance this afternoon. We'll begin with the combined group on Merrily We Roll Along, followed by Go Tell Aunt Rody. The percussion section will perform Frere Jaca. Then the combined group will perform Lightly Row, featuring a solo from each section. Thank, Thank you for your support, support and please enjoy.
welcome to the brass section of our sharing session. My name is Sloan. And I'm Aryan. After choosing to be part of the brass family during our instrument selection, selection process, we were excited to begin learning. One of the first things that we had to know was that sound comes from our bodies, vibrations for brass instruments. We can use our mouthpieces to focus that sound into a buzz, and once inserted into the instrument, it focuses and amplifies the sound. We have three pieces that we are excited to perform for you today. That one, the, first, the first one is called Au Clair de la Lune, which means by the light of the moon in English. Our second piece is called Duet of the Crusaders and features two different lines of melody to create some harmony as we play. Our third and final piece is called Sweetly Sings the Donkey. We have been playing this piece to form a round. A round is when all instruments are playing the same melody, but starting at different times to create a unique texture and harmony. If you listen carefully, you can hear the sweet chorus of donkeys singing together. We hope you enjoy the performance. Thank you. 
Hi, I'm Vivian in Grade 6 Dreams. Franz Schubert started composing his 8th symphony when he was 25 years old. Little is known about why the symphony was never completed, as Schubert never mentioned the work to his friends. We will play an arrangement of the first movement. The touching and expressive theme has been called by some the most beautiful melody in the world. I'm Edward. The composer Catherine Parrish was inspired to compose Winter Stars by the poem of the same name by Sarah Teasdale. Delicate musical phrases capture the portrayal of the twinkling stars that burn steadily as long ago, even as the world changed below. Lyrical melodies provide the opportunity for us to work on tone, slurs, and expressive playing. We invite you to reflect on images of shimmering stars in the cold winter night sky. Please enjoy.
grade six band and strings for your performances. In a moment, you can bring your instruments to your designated audience seated, take a seat, and enjoy the work of your peers. We're going to do a quick change and invite the grade seven band and strings to the stage to share what they've been working on. Andrew and Elle, take it away. Good afternoon, we are the Great Seven Concert Band. After a few strange years, we are excited to be playing as a full ensemble again. Today, we have two pieces that we've been working hard on as a, uh, to share with you. The first selection we would like to play for you today is titled The Siege and was written by Ryan Meebower. The music paints a picture of a med medieval scene of an army attacking a castle and we've enjoyed the intense feeling that this piece creates. Our second selection is called Creatures in the Attic and was written by Brian Balmages. The music weaves a story of an attic coming alive with mysterious sounds as creatures come out and celebrate nightfall. The piece starts quietly, but continues to build into a chaotic forte of sound. Finally, as dawn approaches, the creatures retreat back into the shadows. We have enjoyed using some extended techniques in this piece, including making wind and clicking sounds with our instruments, and sections where we get to choose the notes we play in order to create dissonance. We hope you enjoy our pieces.
Hi, I'm blazing grade seven strings. Paganini was a violin virtuoso from the late 1700s and was thought of as a magician or devil because of his compositional style. His solo caprices were considered to be some of the most difficult music ever written for the violin. His caprice number 24 in A minor is what we are about to play. We start with a theme followed by five variations challenging us to play a variety of meters, rhythms, and moods. Fasten your seatbelts for this musical ride. I'm Ethan. To complete our program, we will play Firebird by Igor Stravinsky. The strings class enjoyed learning and creating an evocative atmosphere. The glorious finale from this ballet music begins with a shimmering tremolo sound from the upper strings, followed by a lyrical cello section solo based on a melody from a collection of Russian folk songs. The theme is repeated, building to an exhilarating ending the chromatic chords that end the ballet outline the Firebird's motif, bringing the ballet to a magical conclusion.
Samantha, how do you feel about the performances this afternoon? It's been so great to see all the efforts of these students finally culminating with this amazing event. We have a few thank yous to say before we go. First, a huge thanks to all the grade six and seven classes for all of their hard work in the lead up to today. You've all worked so hard and it has certainly paid off. Congratulations to you all. Thanks also to our music teachers for helping us prepare and for giving us this wonderful performance opportunity. Thanks to our homeroom teachers and parents for all their support along the way. We would, and finally, we would also like to thank all of you for being such respectful listeners and supporting our junior school music program by being here. It's been a pleasure being your hosts today. Right, Hassan? Oh, what? Oh, yes. Uh, sincere pleasure. Oh, uh, where's this, where's all this dust coming from? <laughs> Finally, we would like to invite Ms. Bates to up to say a few words. Can I just take a minute to thank both Hassan and Samantha for their amazing emceeing of this whole event. Bravo to you both. Um, when we talk about student-leds for music, this, this is your student-leds, basically. We're, we're a month early, so we're really sorry about that. Um, but it kind of gives you that window into our classroom, into the, I mean, in this case, it's the products of what we've been working on um, since September, really. Um, a lot of this, this work could not happen without your support, first of all, which I, I know that um, Hassan and Samantha acknowledge. Thank you so much, parents, for everything you do to help your, your child get ready for these occasions from ceremonial to getting them instruments, making sure the instruments work, making sure that if they forgot their instrument and you receive that call in the morning, <laughs> that they somehow end up with an instrument magically before their music block. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can we thank your parents? <laughs> um, huge thanks also to, um, we have this fantastic maintenance team led by John Shaw, who is over there today. He is actually here. And <laughs> And I tell him this often, this really cannot happen without his support and without his leadership um, to help make all of this happen in terms of transforming a gym into a performance space. Thanks also to our PE team who they completely had to readjust their teaching um, locations and schedules to allow for this space to be available as well. So thank you so much to our PE team. Before, speaking of PE, before I go into the other um, quick thank yous, we have um, 12 girls that are on their way to a basketball tournament right now. Um, so those 12 girls, thank you for all of your work. Can we just like give them a little clap out? Good luck. You can go. You may go. <laughs> Sorry. There. There was, there was a brief panic moment of like, wait, does that mean we can go? So they are on their way to um, go and meet with Miss Wright uh, over by the change rooms. Um, our music team, we have the wonderful Mr. Elmer, who's actually been helping us with recording today, um, and he's up there. He's normally with us in band. We have Mrs. Goddard, who's also at the back there, who runs our strings program. With the support of our wonderful strings assistant, Ms. Frankie Lemon, who is also helping us on the sound boards. On the band side, we have Mr. Kevin Jackson, who is running our 6-7 band program. And also supporting us in band, but is also like, I think you should all hopefully know by now, is our choral, is our, the person who runs our choral program, Ms. Eve Richardson is also over there. She's been helping in percussion. The 
the sound is all handled. Um, Maddie and Harl is our events coordinator who could not be here. He is sick, which is why we had Miss Lemon on the boards and Mr. Elmer on the, on the camera and everyone just kind of playing musical chairs a little bit, which is really fitting. But um, thank you to him for helping us get all of this set up and prepared while he was sick. Um, my name is Laura Bates. I'm the head of the junior school music department and it's been such a pleasure seeing the growth in all of these kids. A lot of them who um, some of them actually, I even remember my first year here teaching in grade two music. So it's been really neat to kind of see their growth and see and see them become young musicians. I kind of think of it as like maybe th the best um, comparison is like if you're learning the piano, you're just kind of, you, you start with like one hand at a time, two hands, start learning harmony um, and whatnot. And then you kind of start learning more complex pieces. What you kind of get to see through the band and strings program, because you can see that they are, they are at different stages of that process. And you have the one side where you have the process starting with an instrument that a lot of the kids have continued with from grade three to seven. Then you have the other side of the process where there's been a bit more exploration before, and then the kids have just more recently chosen. This group in particular only really landed on their instruments last March, April. Um, so they've come a really far way. Still all of those musicianship skills are being developed all the way through and it's just about that time piece, that effort, um, and that patience that is really important um, in everything we do. Um, and the last, I also almost forgot one more thank you, sorry. Um, the beautiful art that you have here. This is the grade three, some of the grade three work from Miss Unger, our head of the Fine and Performing Arts, who is also with us today. Thank you, Miss Unger. <laughs> And I'm just going to invite Ms. Corcoran just for a last really quick word before you go. Thank you so much. Uh, thanks so much. I know that everyone's rushing out for the next thing to happen this afternoon. Uh, it's just really important as we come together and we have such a sense of community here in the gym uh, to thank you parents for coming out, for uh, acknowledging the amazing magical work that these teachers have been able to inspire and also just to recognize the students uh, for just uh, giving it they're all and being really actively involved in all the experiences that we have and all that we have to offer at the school in our music department. We really do have the dream team uh, in terms of teaching staff and I just want to thank them for their collaboration and I'd like to thank Laura for her vision uh, and uh, I look forward to so much more of this. So thank you again, all of you and yes. And I believe there probably is some kind of structure to the dismissal, so I may have to pass this off. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I, I did forget, sorry. Thank you, Ms. Corcoran. Um, band and strings, your jobs before you go. You will after, in a moment, the grade sixes in a moment will stand up first, in a moment, and they will put their instruments away. They will put their music away and join their families. Or, well, I guess you have to go up to homeroom still to get your stuff. So that's what the grade sixes in a moment will do. Once the grade sixes have cleared the space grade sevens, just give them like two minutes, then you'll do the same and just make sure that all instruments go with you, either home or to the instrument storage. All your music, take it with you as well. Thank you so much. <laughs>